Hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today I want to make a movie that I don't think I ever made on this YouTube channel. No, others probably made it on their YouTube channels, but not mine. Why is it that if you're name known, you had to ask for Wear Guild for your likeness? Is it some type of term that I don't know about? Like some type of law or something that was made a long time ago that says, well, you're name known. So you can't give your likeness away for free. You have, someone has to pay for it. I don't know who came up with that rule. I really don't understand it. You know, is it like time is money and money is time or something? And it's like, well, they're taking time away from their busy if in job or life or whatever it might be. And that, you know, I don't know. It makes no sense to me. See, I can see. I understand you, you go to these conventions and conventions always like to charge, like to say you got to pay for a likeness. You have to. I don't know. But when it's not a convention and it's just that, you know, a name known man or woman you know, on their own, they don't, they're not a convention. It's not a movie show. It's not a four seer show. It's not a sports show. You know, it's nothing like that. But why is it that they do this? I don't get it. I mean, I mean, one time I met one of the Pittsburgh Steelers one time and, you know, and he didn't ask me for his autograph. He, I mean, he didn't ask me for Weird Gill. I mean, he was doing it. I mean, he was there one day in the gym and he was signing autographs or he was signing his likeness, booking his name down on his likeness for anyone that wanted it, you know? And to tell you the truth, um, he didn't do it. So why is it, uh, why do some of them do it? Like, oh, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, Triple H. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, Jordan. Ah, uh, can I have your likeness? Oh, yeah, that's going to be $20. Why, why am I, why, why, why I got to pay $20 for your likeness? I mean, well, it's World Wrestling Entertainment that says I got to pay, is you got to pay $20 for my likeness. I mean, I don't get it. Is it like the like the law or some term of the business they work for that tells them, hey, you're name known. So you have Pete, men and women have to pay you for your likeness. And if you don't ask them to pay for your likeness, we'll say you stole the likeness. I don't know. It makes no sense why they do it, why it's done that way. Is it some type of term? That a lot of movie show businesses, force here show businesses, and wrestling businesses do. That they that they that the that the movie that the show boss says, hey, you know, your name known. You can't give your likeness away for free. You know, I don't understand that. Plus, you always hear about men and women selling likenesses anyway on eBay and Amazon and whatever. But the whole idea. I mean, I get it. At these conventions, they got to make Weird Guild uh, some way. Apparently, buying a ticket is, doesn't make enough Weird Guild, so then they got to find a way to make Weird Guild off of someone's likeness. But, or whatever. But it'd be like this. Couldn't some name known man or woman just, you know, name known man or woman just be like, uh, can I have your picture? You're Kurt Angle. Yes. Oh, no problem. We have our likeness. Let's go. There you go, Jordan. Always happy to help. Well, thank you, Kurt. No problem. You know, no buying. You see? See what I mean? It can be done. It's not like there's some law that was made that only applies to the name knowns that you don't, that, is, that they didn't tell you about it. It's not like someone made a law and said, we have to make the name known to, uh, Man or woman, uh, you know, wear ask for wear guild, pay for wear, pay for likeness law, or whatever they call it, and you won't know about this law until you ask someone who's name known, fill in a blank, whatever their job is, uh, 
for their likeness. You know what I mean? I, I don't do not understand it. I mean, it makes no it makes no sense to me. You know, my mother, I mean, no, not my mother. My godmother, Zena, it's name known show player, name known wrestler and show player. And she doesn't go around saying, well, you got to pay 20 or $30 for my likeness, you know. And that's because she's being good, I guess. You know, I don't really understand it. I really don't understand this whole thing about asking someone for Weird Guild for their likeness. See, I think a convention, it should be like this. Convention, you pay your admittance fee, whatever it is. You got your ticket. That should cover everything. All right? But sadly, it doesn't. But if it's not a convention, you know, and it's just them by themselves, then it shouldn't be, so that rule, that term shouldn't apply. You know, I don't understand it. If you're name known, why do name known men and women have to ask for Weird Guild to take their likeness? I mean, they already have enough Weird Guild as it is, I guess, but I don't know. But it makes no sense to me. Can someone tell me how this term got started? You know, I really don't understand it. That's it. I'm Jordan Long, and I'll see you later.